All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Let's Play. I'm Kung Fu Jesus. I'm Medibot, and my name is Kaz. <laughs> and we're gonna play um, a, a very excellent game. One totally of the, awesome game. Oh, best in existence. Maybe it's, the best game ever. It is a very, very good game. Yeah. You should all get this game. If you don't like, I mean, and I can tell it's already happened. I played some of it in the beginning of uh, the Kingdom Hearts Two LP. <laughs> We passed it off as Kingdom Hearts 2, ha ha ha, you know, very oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, like, I should not have done it. that. It's it's really doing an injustice to the game. It treats you with that little graphic of uh, our main character kicking a guy in the balls, you know? The God Hand! I, I didn't fully see the guy. I think that was a, uh, I think that was a Johnson. One of the Johnsons. Did he have a blue shirt on? No. Yeah. No, but he did have a mohawk. I think he, he shows up cross. later in the game. He, w he won't be in the first level. Okay, maybe at not. At all. So, yeah, we're just showing off the controls a little bit, and, you know, it, it's that like... It seems a, intimidating, but it's actually pretty intuitive. Yeah, I mean, all the buttons do something. Yeah. Those buttons do move. Yeah. Those different You can't buttons. change them, though. That would be too complicated for a game like... This is simple. expect me to mop up, do you? Come on. Those guys are cake. Not to mention, much sexier than you. Well, your sexy little friends. They're coming for a dance. <laughs> They're still sexier than you are. So there you go, beating up some guys because your girlfriend's telling you to? Pretty much. Well, you know. it's her last name uh, Belmont because she's got you whipped. Ooh, Ooh. nice one. Strictly um, speaking, I don't think they're uh, an item. All right, so we have one. Um, got a Keith over there on the right. Um, yep. Is that the so? Yeah. On the, so that one there in the red shirt, the Mohawk. Who is that? Oh, that's uh, that's a Jeff. That's a Jeff. Okay. Okay. Um, that's not a suplex you, but you can counter suplex him. Yeah, it's nice that way. And you have Bandana. Uh, What's his name? That's Keith. Keith. Okay, Bandana uh, Keith. That's uh, probably a cigarette in his mouth, but it might also be a lollipop. They're all cigarettes in this game. Are they? Yeah, this is not the. Um, okay. There's, no there's a. They're they're planning a sequel um, that's set about a hundred or two hundred years in the future, and all of these same characters are generations. In the future of themselves, and hmm. they change it to be family friendly. Okay, so so here's Harry. Uh, Harry has a big family. Okay, well this is he's a lots of uh, so Harry, Harry is the basic fat guy. Harry is the basic fat guy, and Harry has a lot of Harry variations. Are they all fat guys? They are all fat guys. Some of them also tall. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, that's the thing the about this game. He's pretty tall to me. He's probably what, like six and a half foot. He's, he's probably six and a half feet. But everyone, about that, everyone else is taller. Than him. Yeah, that's, it's really funny. You that's know? kind of intimidating. You know, living in the world, or you're the shortest guy. Well, actually, these guys are all about the same height. Oh, nice, uh, nice barrel vault. Oh, yeah, right. is, so, that, is that one of our green trees? No, this is Keith. Uh, oh, that, that's Keith behind him. It looks like. Oh uh, yeah, that's who, that's Marco. Yeah. Okay. So we get all three of the basic uh, baddies, Marco, Keith, and, and Jeff. And Jeff. Um, yeah, they have a nice big old wind-up punch. So that's Tiki head. What the hell is that, dude? Oh, um, at a couple places in the game, there's maybe five total. Uh, you stand in one place for a while, and a Tiki head will come up. And yeah, I mean, just it's you beat it up, and you get a prize. A prize is good. Yeah. There are different ways. Uh, so anyway, uh, the fighting system, since this game is about fighting, uh, what do you see? What do you notice? Feels a lot like River City Ransom. Definitely, definite, definite, that kind of vibe. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people think that. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in, I don't mean that in a negative way at all. River City Ransom is a great game. And well, that's what I mean. I'm, yeah. well, I mean, I'm just saying that a lot of people... Well, elements. I, I notice you haven't blocked yet. Oh, like they, like they do? Right. The, the enemies will cover up. And 
Yeah, you can I can't there. block. Uh, uh. You don't block in this game, uh, instead you can dodge. There's the duck dodging. Uh, Sort of a boxing dodge type. Oh yeah, that one right there, the duck mm. dodging. Uh, actually, that's one of the most useful things in the game. You use it to to cancel out of long moves and oh, that's, recovery that's animations. Easy. If you duck cancel out of almost everything in the game, it, just, it, it makes it playable. I, they actually mean for you to play the game that, that way. Guy gave Curiously you enough, knowledge. again, that, like that guy um, doesn't have a name. He He's just the villagers don't have names. The villagers don't get all the mooks get named, but uh, the, the villagers. It's weird. So it's just like name. villager one. Maybe it's a kind of metaphor yeah. of how the only way you can really exist is by fighting. going out and fighting. If you just sit at home and get so that would be a, uh, no one. What a Matrix Reloaded thing. Have a nice so you're fighting. Yeah. Uh, that so quoth uh, the Oracle's personal secretary. Hmm. So, that, like, there you're taunting that guy? Is yeah, that you can you're taunt, and taunting does, right it's right really, right. it does three yeah. things. Yeah, yes. yeah, it does three things. Two are really great, one is not so great. The two things, it, one of them, the, the first great thing is it attracts enemies toward you, so you can use it to single guys out of the group. Very useful. Hmm. The second thing, uh, it raises your god hand tension meter, or heat, I don't know what it's actually called. I call it tension. Tension, heat, it works like Devil Trigger from Devil May Cry, uh, and it raises that a little bit. The third thing it does is raises your level. That's bad. <laughs> what are you, leveling up is great, what are you talking yeah, about? Leveling up is usually, good. usually good, but uh, in this game, leveling up makes the enemies harder, faster, uh... More powerful than before? Exactly. Ooh, counter! Nice move. There's level 1, 2, and 3 that we've seen so far, and... So it is level four is active. Yeah, no, it's actually not. But we'll see that oh. in a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But at the highest level, I can get one shotted by this guy. Here. I'll just flank train you. So yeah, uh, and you're, this is a demon soul. They come out of guys. Just after you beat them up, it's like, hey, kids, demon time. Yeah, and, and usually it's just random. This one was scripted. Awesome. There are two scripted ones in the whole game, and that was the first one. Uh, just to show you what it's like, and I mean, it was but you're supposed to use the god hand on the top. Um, okay, once again, carry on teeth. Okay. The the fat guys. Uh, if you notice, there are a couple of moves in this game that you just get for free. They're called free moves. Uh, so that one right there is a face kick. That one right there is an axe kick, and that one I just did. Uh, after the axe kick is called a, uh, I don't know, you just kick them up in the air. What, what, what was that? That was mighty impressive. You punched the ground and just big old explosion. That was a roulette. That was a roulette move or technique or something. Uh, yeah, roulette move. You get, you see those orbs above my health. Yeah, I see the two little glowing spheres. Yeah, I, um, I noticed a huge right now one above of your lack of health. Yeah. Zing. Ooh. So... You press R1, and you cycle through moves, and you choose one, and it does it. So this is the god hand. You're going hella fast, man. Yeah, you go really fast, yeah, yeah. you Splash. are invulnerable, most important. Crazy huge damage. And you do crazy huge damage. But it trains your, your meter. Well, yeah. So you can't just do it. It has a meter, obviously. It has a meter. And you build the meter by punching guys, uh, doing stylish things to guys, taunting guys. Dodging moves. Yeah. Actually, a little bit, not so much. Mm. Uh, dodging moves will give you uh, meter, uh, level meter, which, by the way, look, we're on level die. Oh. And he's got a little yeah, crown on him. He's a crown, and the level die meter is animated. If you take damage, it blood stains or blood spatters will appear. Oh. Oh, I got you. Now, the thing about, uh, who was that again? Oh, that was Marco. Mar the thing Mar about Marco, Marco is, is that Marco's grab move is not a suplex, it's a, it's a oh, face it's, yeah, to the face knee, yeah. and that um, will always do some damage to you, which is right. bad if you have no health left. Right. Or a suplex, you know, that's great. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I didn't use the god hand on the demon, I used it on these guys. Why? Well, that's right. Yeah, it looks like you're real good in one-on-one -on -one combat, but as soon as the second enemy shows up, you can sort of get shuffled. Definitely. So, so uh, let's try this again. 
gonna bust through the door again. Yeah, bust through the door. Go quick so he can. Yeah, he can't get you with his four by four. Yeah, and right there I did that made him drop. It was a counter, which means you hit them like frames before they hit you. It's really more of a luck thing. So you need a quick move to do that. Right, which is throughout the game, I will be using a. There's a. I have a whole bunch of moves. There are hundred, over a hundred moves in this game. Yeah. There are over a hundred moves in this game, and I will be using the jab move as my first move in my combo for the entire game, so that I can just really fast. quickly interrupt any move that enemies throw at me. Well, Keith had a sledgehammer, holy, holy snap. That yeah. looks dangerous. I actually like it when enemies have weapons, because they all behave the same. They have no special tricks. And it's really easy to dodge. No, just a guy with this stick. Yeah. Boring. That looks like it took off a good bit of Harry's health though when you chucked it. Oh in. yeah. Whoa. Uh, whoa. That was lucky. A new tornado dive. Okay, so on level die they uh, get really fast, right? So that move that he did where he flew at me, yeah. uh, that would normally be extremely dodgeable, very quick, you know, or not quick at all. But on level die, it's uh, like instant. And the demon soul popped out. I'm not taking any chances. So wild pitch took two. Levels. Right, and it's in blue. Okay. Right. So. Oh, uh, it looks like a you. Yeah. And that's what you're trying you, to. You counter. leveled down when he threw you. Is that yeah, like taking da taking damage? Yeah. Ho ho! The ball buster to the poke of God, baby. Is this what it's like to own a guy? Yeah. You grab him by the balls. All right. Hey, hey Funplay Villager gives you Villager number two. bananas. Yeah, bananas are delicious. Great. I know, like, so so fruit restores health. Is yeah, that how it works? yeah, and there's a grade. You know, you get cherries, uh, the oranges, bottom. Um, then great. oranges, then bananas, yeah, then and then the last one is the, the best. elusive strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Strawberries are delicious. They're my favorite food. Well, yeah. and by mine, I mean Gene's yeah. favorite food. So that. So he, he might be related to Pac-Man, Yeah, think? I, I think it is. I it's, think so, yeah. Somewhere down the line... If Pac-Man is Pac the dinosaur, then Gene is the human. And the deific brace of his own. Mm. You could activate it by eating a power pellet. Yeah, and so, notice that we did not climb the ladder, we merely jumped up the ladder. And climbing ladders take so long, why don't you just jump? Ladders indicate good places for you, not you. Yeah, yeah just, exactly. So, uh, also, uh, right there I try to stomp the guy. If they're on the ground and you press circle to stomp them, uh, you'll try stomping them. But the thing is, unlike every other, like, pummel move or, or, you know, poke of god, you can be hurt while doing the stomp. It's a very bad move. Whoa! Now that, that stomp, that is, that's a roulette. That's, that's a little different. That's a different, different. kind of stomp. Oh, yeah. we, we call that the Gene Four Step. Because you step on him four times. Uh, that's another one. That's just a big old launches of power right. launch. The pain train's coming. Ah, it was nice enough to give me the two orbs back that I used. <laughs> that's good. All right, looks like you mopped these guys up pretty well. And that's it for this video, pretty much. We're gonna go uh, level by level, and I'll see you next time.